Hello, I'm Sinead and this is your Week in Tech. Biobeats has raised $2.8 million. Biobeats is a machine learning platform that delivers insights about the real-time well-being of employees in the workplace. Smart content platform StoryStream has closed a £1.8 million Series A funding round led by MMC Ventures. Launchpad Recruit has raised £2 million. The startup provides video interviewing and screening technology to employers. And Edinburgh University Technology spin out SoFan Technologies Limited has landed £1.5 million in funding. The investment will be used to bring to market SoFan's patented technology, which seeks to double mobile battery life. The UK government is exploring ways in which it can use blockchain technology to distribute taxpayer money fairly and securely, according to Matthew Hancock, Minister for the Cabinet Office and Paymaster General. He made the announcement at a blockchain networking event in London this week. The news comes after the government committed £10 million to the Alan Turing Institute to investigate digital currencies, such as Bitcoin and distributed ledger technology, in October last year. There were some notable international investments this week, with Nokia acquiring the French company Withings for €170 million. Euros. They're hoping to build out the health technology side of the business. The consumer tech acquisition will not only focus on healthcare gadgets, but also the Internet of Things and cloud-based technology. Medium, the online publishing platform led by Twitter co-founder Ev Williams, has announced that it raised $50 million in Series C funding from Spark Capital. Less than a year ago, Medium raised a $57 million Series B round. Our download of the week is Health24. Health24 lets you find local health services and emergency services. It also has a handy A to Z of health issues and can be used at home or abroad. And finally, the Top Gear lads Hammond, Clarkson and May are going to venture into tech by creating Drive Tribe, an online content platform for motoring enthusiasts. The platform is expected to go live in autumn this year. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.